body yeah if you're feeling the wave mash up your brand take a lick catch breath can match that pace flight boy says square got one and breast trying to lie my ways but she know if you pass the test she just wanna argue and stress me I just want get money and spend so Nico cars in a butter ganji with my squad out in my side it you my isha safi kuja na me uji binjari smoke some finesse no planning in life nikali butter muka masali in life nikali baby come enjoy na me Federal Communications Commission has determined the following content to be emotionally harmful. Snowflakes should not view this content under any circumstances, even if supervised by a G.I. Joe, Navy SEALs, Army vet, or someone with good common sense. The views and opinions expressed, including the depictions of persons of color, corrupt politicians, white people, white people with or without a tan, haters, who have yet to brush their teeth typing angrily in the comment section with hot breath syndrome do not reflect any official policy or position of the u.s government this program contains graphic language dark comedy unique intelligence creativity a high credit score and high blood pressure when triggered this program has also been accused of racism violence misogyny misogyny, feminism Nittawism, defacement of celebrities, and of course, being a bully. Welcome to Thought Crimes. Welcome to Thought Crimes, everyone. This is your girl, Sin Sin. I'm here with... Sin, how can we prove that it's not an AI voice you're using? I, I don't know. I mean, you know, I could be a robot. I could be AI. I could be Drake. We don't know. This is your man, Prince Solomon, in the building, and I am not AI, nor am I auto to. Somebody bring back T-Pain. We owe him an apology. We owe him an apology. Let's go. So we talked about this pretty much days ago, and we we even a week ago, we told Drake, you cannot insult the engineers. You cannot insult the engineers. So basically, now we're discussing people who are actual engineers saying that there's something wrong with the push-ups track that uh, people claimed was a Drake. We were the first channel said it was Drake. Forget about what Elliot is saying. 
and other people are saying this is indeed drake uh spitting but it also does sound weird so i do want you to basically get in on that uh prince because you was a big time talking about this as well and, and even from what you know uh you heard because you you used to MC. so break it down prince break it down i will tell you this is when i heard the initial track um they did sound strange to me but it definitely sounded like drake and one of the things about Drake is that, you know, uh, there's a certain rhyme style with every rapper and MC. We can understand that. We can, you know, you guys hear when I do the Jay-Z, you guys hear when I duplicate the flows, this, that, and third, but you're stepping into the psychology of the MC, right? So some of the talking points that I heard Drake or the, the leak track, what it was saying, it's, it's psychological, that is something Drake would say. You have to step into that space with them. And then you hear the air pockets in between the breaths that people usually clean up when you hear, <gasps> you know, whenever somebody says the words, you hear them podcasters, you know, the, the best speakers, orators know how to minimize that type of uh, th th those types of infractions within speech. But here's the thing about it that was strange is that when it was delivered, I, I said to myself, I said, who who in this era, unless it's really bad in your camp, who are trying to leak tracks like that, like we would hear traditionally on the old mixtape circuits? And then the final polished version comes out. And like you said, Elliot Wilson said, it's not the real track, it's AI. But then the polished version comes out by academics and it's the same track. Pitches are changed around. And then some of the lyrics are changed around as well. Now, the real question is the approach and what was going on with it. Some people say, well, why y'all questioning Drake? Well, think about this. When Drake's track initially leaked, and then they told us it wasn't even industry insiders was like it's not leaked y'all just don't like the boy y'all y'all gotta stop with all the hating fine people moving on forward but then the polished version comes through the ovo intelligence agency firm one of the head officers known as dj academics nothing wrong with it but then the people say oh it, it was the track but then the strange campaign was is that all of a sudden they pitched up in the algorithm oh that kendrick lamar responds with ai tracks and then they tried to connect the cj boy and say oh he's best friends him and quentin miller used to do roommating together right and the question is this is people saying well are you going to upload it to you know spotify or the ovo soundcloud even if they don't do soundcloud anymore i don't really argue that but i will say this if it does come out that writers would need to be credited on the track in itself then we would have a problem and for this to be a situation concerning drake again ladies and gentlemen he's mark mcguire of hip-hop we have to be comfortable with this i'm very comfortable of saying that even having this conversation specifically for drake not in the entirety of the industry but specifically for drake is a very strange problem and we got to keep in mind this that the dmx estate right the earl simmons estate did allow for an official ai track to be released on dmx's spotify the track sounds horrible it's some halloween type stuff it just sounds horrible it, 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 the ad libs are strange so this is the era that we're in right now and so engineers are going and questioning both tracks which i believe it was a mistake for the camp to do that so they're putting them side by side and things are seeming a little funny I agree with that. I mean, you can't with people who have passion like Tupac and DMX. I don't think the AI is is a good. They should not be the first guinea pigs. You get what I'm saying? You gotta choose some type of MC where it's more uh, intellectual based, more heady. You know, maybe a, someone like Lupe Fiasco, since he turned cool anyway and, and became a part of the machines and a part of the. Uh, 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 Joe Biden's camp and shitting on Kendrick Lamar. I don't know. I don't know who this man is anymore. I mean, he turned into one of the Terminators. But anyway, to get back to the subject at hand, we were the first ones to call it, and we said it was Drake. But we also said something was weird going on with the track. And I'm so glad to see everybody else basically pointing this out. No hate towards Drake, but this is just the truth. Uh, we saw Malone recently from the West Coast basically is, is supporting this idea that something fishy is going on with Drake. Uh, Drake, uh, 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 <laughs> chat GBT, you know, basically is happening. And let's be honest, Drake is like what you said, Morph. I mean, we don't know who Drake is. Drake is the shapeshifter of hip hop. Uh, he has the most secretive uh, background. 
you know, yes, we know he comes from Toronto. We know he, he comes from Canada. You know, we know he used to act. Uh, we know he has all these things that people say about him. But he is the lieutenant. He is the face of corporate America. And Drake is about that money. We already know if if the corporate heads say, Drake, we want to try something new where we're doing uh, AI and we're doing your voice and we're merging it together or we're giving you some lyrical ideas based off of AI, he probably would do it. I mean, you and I said that the the diss was tailored for social media. Kai Sinet, academics, all these things that doesn't really win you uh, uh, any cred or any victory in a hip-hop battle. And yet... Uh, Drake is doing it and also it it, it, it it poses a question too because some people are even alleging that when it came to back to back Nav may have uh, helped in, in writing that disc record then it, we said like if if Rick Ross wrote non-stop and some other tracks for Drake how we uh, don't know that Rick Ross wrote uh, Duppy because Duppy is in a uh, somewhat of a, a style of, of Rick, Ro Rick Ross cadence and how he layers a track so it does pose all these different types of questions around Drake and Kendrick Lamar's team has been listening not just to our channel but to a lot of hip-hop heads who've been talking and many of them saying you know what Drake why don't you put push-ups on Spotify oh wait you won't because then you will have to credit the writers that were possibly involved or the technology that was possibly involved in creating this. Yeah, you know, and and again, you know, with back to back and in Duppy, you know, they didn't necessarily go through the traditional format or formula about where they're going to have the placement. Uh, my concern is that was there AI reference tracks involved? Because you know, even if you have a reference track to leak now with the AI technology, you won't hear Quentin Miller's version voice saying it it will be somebody or the system in itself that is tailored to sound more like drake so it just sounds like the audio got leaked and i think that's what people are not understanding here again i don't even have a problem if he doesn't put it on any of these dsp services anything of that nature but where, where my concern comes in with this is that if let's say if i'm one of the guys in the room that is assisting drake to let's let's terminate this small left coaster yeah we got to get him out of here and i do a reference track i give you know drake a style to rap in a flow to rap in i give him a cadence a staccato i give him a rhyme skis these are very important things you would do when you're helping assist an mc slash rapper right this is what they do in the industry period right but I go in there with the new technology that they have, too, by the way. And I, we're going to go ahead and link uh, Curtis King's uh, profile in the video so y'all can check in the description box as well, where he's an engineer. And he goes through and he shows you the brilliant new technology with someone with a more relaxed cadence like the baby, how they was able to emulate his style perfectly to a T to the human ear that it would be damn near undetectable unless you were listening to certain things. But with Drake in this situation, even if a reference track is leaked and the guy is using the technology that they already sound similar to Drake, but to the public's ear, it just sounds like an unmixed, unmastered leaked audio. And that's where my real concern is concerning with somebody like Drake. And I will have to say this, ladies and gentlemen, right now, rap music, hip hop, hip hop in general is in the last era, the heyday era of the MLB, where Drake is Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds and self Sammy Sosa he's all three of them with the steroid scandal in one nigga and I think people need to be comfortable with that we're gonna have an honest conversation I'm not even here to knock Drake uh, with his accolades I actually think that he has some Barry Bonds energy in him where he has capabilities he does have strong capabilities but Barry Bonds with his superhuman abilities he's still fed into the peer pressure of wanting to use steroids performance enhancement drugs so I just want to contextualize is that it's more having to do even if the reference tracks do leak is it truly drake that we're hearing or there's some sort of unknown ghost writer or writer that is already using the technology that way to be honest with you even if a leak happens in this camp it's an airbag it's a seatbelt. where it's not quentin miller's voice we hear we're hearing someone that sounds like drake through a program and we're gonna leave it off here everyone i uh, just like drake said i cut out the middleman he cutting out Rick Ross. He cutting out Abel from the weekend. He cutting off Future and Metro. 
This is Corporate Assassin Drake. Subscribe. Check out our Patreon. We love hip hop and we love y'all. Peace.
turn your back on me. Is that a challenge? You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. My folks are nosy. They have specials. Nosy specials. Why does a bee make honey? You ain't a bee. Why do you give a fuck?